The Bible has a lot to say about how we should interact with those around us. Today, we're going to dive deep into God's Word to see exactly what it says on treating others and what we should be doing. Stay tuned to the end and see if you're doing all of these things. We all know that we're called to love one another. In John 13, 34 through 35, it reads, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. We're also called to lift each other up. In 1 Thessalonians 5:11, it says, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. We're also called to encourage each other. In Hebrews 3, 13, it reads, But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. We are to share with each other. In Hebrews 13, 16, it says, Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. We are called to be kind even to strangers. Hebrews 13, 1-3 says, Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. We are to bear one another's burdens, so to fulfill the law of Christ, which is found in Galatians 6, 2. We're called to confess our sins to one another. In James 5, 16, it reads, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. We are to forgive each other. Matthew 6:14 reads, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. We're called to restore one another. In Galatians 6, 1, it reads, If anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. We're called to be fair to everyone. James 2, 2 reads, My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Finally, we are to continue in loving one another. 1 Peter 4, 8 reads, Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins.